What's up, everybody? This is Tom Taylor with South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts. Uh, joined today by one of the first one championship fighters I ever had the pleasure of interviewing in person, the jungle cat himself, Muhammad Ayman. Muhammad, it's been a minute, man. How's life in Bali? Yeah. How's it um, it's been good. It's been good. I've been um, I just been la- been lifting weights and I've just been doing some rehab. Um, I've been injured for two years and it's been it's been a struggle. But like, I found like a few things that um, you know, like I can do and stuff. Just like um, you know, like it's while I'm doing my rehab, while I'm recovering. So it's been it's been great. Um, there's definitely some challenges and um, but you know that's. That's why I like I like some challenges and you know, yeah, it's, it's been good. I, I, I'm in a good place right now. Good man, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, what kind of injury are are you dealing with, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I don't know. It's been like um, it's been like I've been dealing with it for three years. It's like my neck and my shoulder. Um, I got better than like somehow like I like I heard it again in training. Like I think like six maybe I think like when I got my brown belt. So I think like six months ago. So I've been, I went back to ground zero. So I have to like do everything again. And like with injuries, like the second time is always much more worse than the first time. So yeah, I've been taking my time, but um, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of like some extra stuff on the side and it's been, it's been good. I've just been focusing on lifting weights and just doing rehab and just teaching kids. And um, yeah, that's one more thing that um, I really, I discovered that I really like to do teaching kids. Yeah. Nice, man. Well, I want to talk about all that, but just while we're on the topic of the injury, um, you said you're doing some rehab. Like, so you're talking to, you're, you're doing physio and stuff. Like you're working on this. It's, are you making progress? Um, yeah. Like I'm just trying to do what I did last time. Um, I found like dry needling is really helpful for me. And because like massages, is just like, it's just not hot enough. I feel like I need, like, it's a muscle thing also a thing. And I need like something to just like, like really poke that muscle to like get better I think but um yeah I just been um been trying to do what I did last time because that works last time because I remember like I I was like feeling good and I was like really careful like stretching warming up my shoulder before training so yeah that's why I've just been doing that and I've also like been trying to like lift weights more like consistently now because I think like I think my that's my mistake my my whole career I wasn't focusing on like you know building muscle and building strength so you'll be you'll be stronger than ever when you come back you'll you'll be a new man yeah that's that's the plan all right man well i want to talk about these comeback plans but let's talk a bit about what you've been up to and the time away you know you mentioned you've been teaching so let's let's start with that what's it been like for you uh coaching kids classes over there um it's been good i started like slow you know i've been i started with like just helping out the jiu-jitsu program and like um also, like we did, we have like um, Muay Thai for kids. Also, we just added that. Um, like when we started, and I was just like helping out. But um, right now, I, you know, like um, the Muay Thai program is like fully my program, and the Jiu Jitsu program is um, it's Andrew's program still. But like I'm more involved in it than before. So that's that's like I, I'm I like that, and I feel like we're like teaching kids with me. It's, Whenever I want to do something, I want to like put everything in it. I feel like with teaching kids, I'm, it's not just a job. I really like want to go there and like do something new every day or like you know try something out and I'm really like passionate about it and not just like you know like that's why I don't teach adults because I feel like that's just like a job. I kind of have to put my time in, get the money, and I, I don't have any much passion. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's awesome, man. I, I commend you. I used to teach uh, kids classes uh, at my old gym, like way back in the day, man. And those kids were just balls of energy nonstop. It takes yeah, so much yeah. patience, man. So my, my hat's off to yeah. you. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying that. That's awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. Like for me, like, I think like, um, I have that, like, I have like, a, like, so I actually come from my dad, like, I haven't seen my dad that angry in 10 years. So I have that like passion in, in me so with the kids. So it, it's a good advantage to teach the kids. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, yeah, my hat's off to you for sure. Now, uh, you've got some other stuff going on too. You've been doing some modeling from the looks of it. Um, what's that been like for you? That that looks like it's been really cool. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. You know, like it's definitely like almost like like fighting. You're doing it for 
deep efforts and like you kind of like um you know figuring it out and everything and um yeah it's been really cool like i've been like really lucky at first then like i lost the momentum like i haven't done anything for a while then like i'm i'm grateful that like people here like like push me a lot they're like you get it like you just you, you know just something out of it like you really like um like your face is really unique and everything so like there's people pushing me back to the momentum so I've, I've been really grateful for that so i just like trying to find like my bearings in the in the like modeling world and trying to find like you know how to do this and how to do this and um yeah i've been so still so trying and um it's still like beginning for me but i, I like it i enjoyed it and it's something i want to do also mm -hmm. um obviously fighting in the martial arts are something that come very naturally to you do you find that the modeling stuff yeah. has as well um i yeah i think so it's pretty natural for me i think um that's why i kind of like that's why i like it so like it, it comes really naturally but at the same time you know like in everything you you still have to like work you can't just you, you can't just you, you have to still have to work on it you can't just like you know oh it's so easy for me so i've been trying to like not just like be too relaxed with it i've been trying to like improve something even though i don't know much uh, about it but yeah i've been like seeing like you know um my friend some of my friends that have like been in the modeling business just like i've been in the writing business so that helps a lot that's awesome, man. It's it's been cool to kind of uh, watch your progress on Instagram, watching some of these these photos you've been posting and stuff. Um, now, I assume it goes without saying that you know, in addition to the teaching classes and the modeling, you've also been filling your time just enjoying the perks of of living in Bali. You've been you know surfing and stuff. I assume too. Um, not my surfing, but I've been like you know like um, um because I can't surf much because of my shoulder. Right, of course, um, yeah, but. Yeah, but I've been like, you know, being on the like, um, Andrew just um, have like, just had a jet ski. So I've been like on the ski. I've been surfing, but like when he has the ski, it's so much easier because I can jump on the ski and like, so send me back to the way. So it's not much paddling for me. So that's been good. Like, and I've been, you know, just, um, there's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of like things here where, where I live in Changu. Like the art scene is almost like the Tokyo of like, Indonesia. So it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. To just be around, hang on cafes and like, um, you know, just, just like go out there, and like just like discover something, you know, just be out there because there's all there's always like something new and something cool that's happening, at events and like art events and everything. And so yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I've, um, I've been, I've just been like cruising, just been like like following the waves, just like just like see what happened and yeah. Yeah, man, uh, you know, following you and the other Bali MMA guys on, on Instagram, it's just, it, it looks amazing. Like, I, I'm so jealous yeah. every time I open Instagram, especially, you know, living in Canada, it's cold as shit here all the time. It's it's yeah. still cold here now. So I see these pictures. I'm just like, good God, man, I got to get over there. It looks incredible. <laughs> so I certainly envy you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely come, come. Yeah, you definitely pay as a visit. And it's, um, yeah, it's cool out here. We've been having like a few, you know, like a few guys coming in and like, um, we have like surfers coming in and like there's a lot of different people coming in uh, to the gym and it's, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it sounds like you've been staying really busy. You know, you've approached this, this injury layoff with like a really, uh, with the right attitude, I'd say, you know, you're filling your time, you're, yeah. you're, you're picking up new hobbies and stuff, but I'm guessing it has been really difficult for you because you are a fighter and you're, you're not able to fight. So, I mean, what, what has it been like for you being stuck on the side, sidelines? Um, um, yeah, now now we're gonna talk about the negative stuff. Like, yeah, let's get uh, into it. Hard, hard going through. Um, yeah, like it's been hard because like one, I can't be there for most of my teammates because I'll get like I get like anxious and I get like a bit like depressed because like you know I'll see them struggling or like I see like them like doing good and I'm like get like so like like I get mad at myself like fuck. Like, oh. But yeah, um, that's one one thing that um hard. And um, yeah, also like some of like the people that like like with Donnie, like he's we, we communicate a lot and he understand what I'm going to. Um, but um, with like Andrew and Anthony, that bit like you know like they just think like I'm being like a lazy pump. Um, and like that's hard. That's a bit hard because they be like giving me shit all the time. But that's one more thing that like I struggle with. But like I've been their friends for a very long time, so I I kind of like understand like 
he they doesn't need it also they just they just like talking shit especially Anthony Leone. So um yeah that's at at one point that that was the hard part like just like getting shit from people like telling you a lazy bump and stuff but like after a while you know like you just like know how to handle it and yeah. Mm-hmm. And like they're they're like my best friend. Like I, of course, like I need to like learn how to handle them in those kind of situations. Right, right. Your be- best friends are always talking a little bit of shit, right? And now, I know, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a time frame yet for for your comeback? When you, when you're talking to these people, you know, in physio, the people in rehab, have they given you a sense of when you might be able to fight again? Um, I'm definitely like I'm flying blind here. Like to be honest, like I just like trying to like it's because it's hard here in Bali, you know, to find, like, you know, like, good physio and good doctor. Even when I find one, it's kind of, like, we don't have, like, sometimes, like, with the physio, you ha- you kind of, like, want to have, like, that connection so you can talk about stuff. So, I, like, my physio, my physio is good, but we don't have, like, that connection where, like, you know, we can sit down and, like, you know, like, this is, um you know, you probably don't find this, but, you know, it's always, we don't have that connection. It's always, like, weird for me to ask. So, um, I'm flying blind out here, but hopefully, um, whenever like I, people ask me when I want to fight, I I'll say them. I think I'll I'll be good to fight by the end of the year, like November, or December. Like that's my that's my goal. Um, when I want to fight, so um, yeah, like that's um that's where I confident w- when I'm gonna fight and when I'm gonna recover in that timeline. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll be good by then. Well, as a fan of yours, man, I, I hope you can make that happen. It would be so great to see you back in there. Um, have you spoken to one championship much during this layoff? Like, do you hear from them? Do they check in? Um, they, I think, like, I remember, like, the last time they asked, it was, like, almost, like, a, like, made, like pretty long ago, like, six months ago and stuff, Um, like, a tiny bit. But mostly, they talked to Donnie, and Donnie talked to me. Um, so sometimes like when Donnie doesn't need to talk to me, Donnie just answers to me because they just talk to Donnie most of the time. Mm-hmm. So, um, man, I'll hopefully, hopefully they still, they still like think about me, but, um, uh, yeah, I've been trying to like, you know, like post more about my old fights and everything just like, you know, um, just like to like be seen, you know, because it's good. Um, still, if you don't want to fight, if you don't fight, it's still good to like be seen, still to remember, um. Uh, especially for me, what I was like. So, um, and yeah, and um, I think like I think I I just basically don't talk to them directly, but um, I think Donnie does. So, mm-hmm. yeah. You mentioned something interesting there. You know, that's that's I guess it's got to be a concern for a fighter when you spend a long time on the sidelines, just the risk of of being yeah. forgotten, kind of right, yeah. because the sport moves so quickly and everyone's always moving yeah. on to the next thing. So. I mean, it must be nice for you when you see one championship posting your old fights and stuff on Instagram. Every now and then, I'll see you pop up. Oh, yeah, he, they popped up um, last last week, and I was I was so happy. Yeah, so, you know, because they haven't posted about me like over I think like over a year. I think so. Um, when they did that, um, I, I was I was pretty I was pretty grateful that she was just still in the room. So, yeah. Yeah, man, I was psyched when I saw that. I was like, "Yeah, hell yeah, man! Let's let's uh, yeah. let's give this guy some shine, man." I haven't forgotten about you. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. No problem, man. So so I've been you know, I've been getting like some you know like some positive messages um from like people on Instagram that like they want to like see me fight. That's one more thing like when pe- like it's a positive thing, but like it does make me sad sometimes when like they're kind of like, "Oh, I want to see you fight again," and I'm just like, "Ah." Oh. Me too, but like you know, I've been, I've been um, going through something and trying to get healthy, and, and yeah. So when you feel that, when you feel that tinge of you know, kind of the depression, the anxiety and stuff, what are the best ways for you to deal with that? Um, just like you know, you know, um, I'm good. Like before, I was definitely like don't know what I'm doing, but I'll, I'll like draw most of the time to like get that feeling off me. But now, like, I'm so used to it. And so, um, like, I know what to do now. And, and yeah, like, um, I just, like, know that, like, this is just, like, you know, um, like, because, my, because, like, my journey in fighting has been so smooth. Like, I told everybody, it's been, I, I was, like, on one of, the, like, probably, like, the largest fighters. And um, as I can say, because I heard stories when other fighters have to do this and this. I'm like, dude, I'm so lucky. And this is my hard times. And even though it's a bit longer than usual, 
like I'm, I want to like I want to get through it. I want to like go through this hard time and become like a better person and better fighter. Mm-hmm. Cool, man. Um, you mentioned your 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 drawing a moment ago. Um, you're sharing some awesome art on Instagram too. It seems like you can do everything. You know, it's 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 hard not to hate you a little bit actually because you're hogging all this talent, man. What, what, but so is that something you're looking at too as like an alternate uh, career path as well? Maybe getting into some art stuff too. Uh, yeah, it's definitely like the by the like the like like fighting is for me is like number one and probably modeling is number two and like the art is number three because I still haven't figured it out yet. But um, definitely like there's something I want to do there. Like you know we're like. With like modeling, like it's connected to like brands, and like brands can be like, oh, we can like you know like do something with your art with like like shirts or like whatever pants or um you know mm-hmm. those kind of stuff. And I, I I've been like I've been trying to do it by myself. I've been trying to like put my art like on um on like shirts and stuff, and like kind of like do like a cool vintage like shirts. That's why I like like cool vintage like baggy shirts. So I've been trying to like do that by myself and trying to like just sell it for cheap or like give it to fans so um that's what i want to do with art like right now like something simple like that just t-shirt because i do it like t-shirt and it's easy to give and everything and it's cheap because before i was struggling like i don't know like what to do with my art i'm like i don't know what to do like with this kind of stuff you know i don't know how to like sell it just like mm. you know who yeah who want like out like with us like you want big and like you know with oil painting and everything so um yeah for now like, i want to like, just do like do like i'm um, just make like vintage shirt with my art on it so mm-hmm. yeah that's awesome man it's it's so cool to see you, you get all these projects on the go and, and your time away from from the cage but as you said a moment ago you know fighting is number one for you um and i'm sure you're thinking yeah. about it all the time so you know assuming things go according to plan for you and you're able to fight again towards the end of the year or maybe early next year have you given much yeah. thought to like where you'll land in your division? Is there anybody you want to fight or anything? Or are you just kind of open to any ideas at this um, point? You know, I think like um right now I'll I'll be like in the same division and I think they were talking about me and Till Tan, um, like Angla's boy, and I'm I'm like like down to do that because like, you know, it's kinda like it's almost like it's like I don't know, like because Angla, I, I have like um, Angla is like one of my like, you know like one of my closest friend in one also, and even though we don't talk a lot and stuff, but like, I really look up to him and Martin in one. So um, it's like it's just like comfortable for me to fight one of his boy and like it's oh, it's almost like cool, you know like there's not much pressure. You just fight one of his boys, just like to see who's the best. And um, I think they've been talking about that, and uh, I I love that matchup, and yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. Um, when I come back, I definitely want to like. Um, I think like he'll put like his because like I'm in the in one a bit longer. I think like he probably fight a few more guys climb climb up the ladder than like probably like he'll get where I am and like it'll, it'll be it'll be a sick fight. I think uh, would, I'll, I'll really like I really like that like that matchup. It would definitely be a sick fight, man. So you're confident in your chances in that one too. Obviously, be exciting, but you like your chances of, of victory in that one. Yeah, I mean, like, for me, like, I don't, you know, like, victory and, like, all lose for me, it's, like, it's already, like, it's, for me, like, I, like, it's already written for, like, so, I don't think about it so much, I'll just think about, like, you know, putting in, like, my, you know, my best work um, on, uh, in the, in the cage and, like, really perform and, like, just, like, put, you know, like, just do your best, because I believe, like, win win or lose is like it's already written like you can't you can't do anything about it so um that's um yeah I, but um yeah i would love that matchup and it's just yeah that's mm-hmm. it's, it's great having said all of that um how good would it feel to win your first fight back when you imagine that moment after this long layup you've had getting back in there it's got to feel yeah. pretty good right yeah that's that's one more that's one more thing like you know if you come back you want to win you know so yeah. um um that will be uh yeah that would be that would be amazing that would be amazing and um i also want to win like in, in like you know like a good fight you know not just win um and to be honest like i rather like like lose a good fight than win like a like a, a, a shitty fight you know like that's that's what um um how you say it? that's my identity you know i rather like lose a good fight then win a shitty fight so um yeah like but to win a 
to win that fight, it's ah, it's gonna be mm-hmm. a great, yeah, it will be a great series. I don't want to think about it because I get um, I'm kind of like a bit um, um, how you say it, like um, superstitious, superstitious about this kind of stuff. You know, you yeah, yeah. So yeah, right, man. Um, so you know, what what are your remaining goals in one championship? What do you hope to accomplish when when you get back in there? I, 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 you know, I want to fight for the title, of course, and I know I'm long, I'm a long way away, but like I'm still, you know, I'm still, I'm still pretty, I'm still pretty young. I'm 27, and like, um, yeah, I, I want to get there. I want, I want to, I want to be a champion in my division, and I want to be, I want to be, I want also want to be a great champion, and that's mm-hmm. that's the goal. And this this journey you've had, you know, with the layoff and the challenges you've faced, I'm sure that'll make you know a title win down the road all the all the more sweeter, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, my amateur career also is a bit like, you know, I've, I'm faced with like um, losses and I'm faced with like not making weight. Um, um, so I had to wait so long until I went, I win my amateur title, but it's definitely like three days. Um, so I feel like it's the same as my um, professional road. Um, so I actually just realized that. So yeah, that, that would be, that would be, you know, I'm confident, I'm confident mm-hmm. in it. Um, you know, become a champion, and I'm gonna work hard with it. With it, even though this, you know, this is just the starting of the line of you know just getting better and like you know becoming a champion. This that's another road. Um, but um, yeah, I, yeah, I, that you know, you ask me, and that's I'm gonna tell you, Susan. That's what I want. Um, yeah. I appreciate it, man. That's that's a great answer. Um, we're almost at twenty two minutes here, so so I'll wrap this up with a couple more questions because I know you're you got yeah. things to do. You're living in paradise. You've got a beautiful day to enjoy. <laughs> um, so let me ask you this first: uh, What do you say to the people who have forgotten about you? You know, during these two years, I, yeah, I'm sure you want these people to remember you, right? What's your message for these people? Um, like it's all in my fight. Like remember, hey, remember, like remember all those fights that like keep you exciting and keep you on your toes. You know, even though I lost the even even though some of those fights I lost, but like those are some, those are some great fights and those that's a lot of like you know, that's a lot of like stuff you know, remember how exciting I was and yeah, I'll, I'll become I'll come back and I'll become more exciting and you know, that's almost um that's a promise. And don't yeah, don't forget about me. And remember those fights, those are some great fights and I'll come back and make some more of those fights. Yeah, man, you were the, one of the most exciting fighters in the game, and that's really one of the one of the things that's you know such a shame about this layoff is you were you were really kind of developing a reputation as one of the exciting guys in this in this organization and this and this weight class. Yeah, um, but I promise you two more questions. So here's the last one. We've talked to you know we've addressed the people who have forgotten you. What do you say to the people who are still supporting you, who are still waiting for your next fight, still following you on Instagram and so on? What what what's your message for your supporters? Ah. Uh, um yeah thank you so much for like you know like um thank you so much for all the all those like nice um all those great instagram message um even though some i didn't get to reply but like um if you're watching this i really appreciate it and the only reason i didn't reply because like it does um you know like hit me in the in the tough spot but um hey like thank you so much for supporting me and um dude i love you guys you know like i wouldn't become the person I am um, right now. Um, I wouldn't become the person I am right now, not for you guys. 